Ancient and mining family, check this out. We ain't in the mine at all. Not even in the house. Oh my gosh. I'm in my garage, guys. Yo, check this out. So, being that it's here in the United States, it's Memorial Day. So we got to make, you know, pay homage to all those awesome veterans out there that had served or laid their life down in the line of duty, guys. Yo. So definitely, you know, pay thanks to your uh, local veteran. You know, thank you for doing their job. But today, since it was a day off, you know, I'm going to work. And uh, this bad boy here has been sitting on the back burner for like a year with an issue. Um, and here, let, let's let's dive into this this issue that I had had, um, which has been like it's been always just like stupid stuff. Whenever you're building these uh, old hot rods, I'm actually grabbing a light here. Um, whenever you're building old hot rods and stuff. It never fails that you're just going to be running into issues. And uh, what kind of a hot rod am I building, guys? Yo! It's a Nova SS, guys. Yo! So, this bad boy has been a nut and bolt restoration. Trying to utilize everything that was original on the vehicle, of course. Of course, guys. And um, let's 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 dive into what I got underneath the hood here. So uh, I gotta set you guys down here for a second because uh, the hood latch is underneath the bumper. If you guys have never seen this mechanism style mechanism before, the lever is actually like right down on the bottom, so you would grab it from underneath the bumper right here and you would just pull just like that and would release your hood so I've got to you know release it that, that way uh, there used to be a there's supposed to be a spring that's supposed to help push the hood up uh, but over the years that thing rusted off obviously I've been trying to find another spring I don't know where I'm going to find one but I will try to continue to locate one <laughs> it's supposed to go like right into this hole here and push up or something like that I forget or it goes into here on this side I forget which side it goes on you know it goes on this side because that's the indentation for the, the spring um, so but what I got here guys yo check this out the jewelry box guys so this is a 350 that came out of a 78 El Camino yo that I have turned into a 388 stroker. Guys, yes, I said it, 388 stroker. Woo! So um, I have, I bored, bored the pistons out 60 thousandths over. It's got aluminum pistons in there. It's got aluminum Brodux stage one cylinder heads on there. Brodux stage one aluminum mid-rise intake with a 750, uh, no, I'm sorry, 700 CFM Edelbrock carburetor on there. Yo! When the people say, you know, what about your fuel economy? And you're like, what fuel economy? Do you really care about fuel economy? <laughs> I don't. Uh, I just want to be able to race this thing. So, this thing should make somewhere around 600 horsepower. I've got a right around a half inch lift on the cam. So, this thing's got a bigger cam than you would have ever seen in any any Corvette stock so this thing is a behemoth <clears throat> and then uh, the brakes on this it used to have uh, manual uh, front disc brakes on there yeah manual front disc brakes um, I put a little booster on there and now you when you just touch the brake pedal it just locks it up guys oh my gosh um, so ugh, grab this up so I can go mobile and so this is all of the, the glorious of the car. And uh, this is the fenders. Whenever I got it, the radiator core support wasn't in. So these fenders were twisted. I had to like untwist them. And that was, I, I, I was figuring I was going to have to replace the fenders. But they came out pretty, pretty good. I mean, considering I've never done this before. Um, and you could tell whenever you're looking at an, uh, an 
a Disco Nova, which is what this one would be because it's a late 70s, is that on the 74, which was the last year for the old body style, these two pieces would have been just one. You would not have had this seam sitting right here and uh, the whole uh, fender would have actually came lipping over the headlight bucket like this. Bam. So, used as much of the original pieces as I could. Um, for rims, I went with um, American Racing rims that I custom painted. I put the uh, original, oh, what size, the 205 60 15s on the fronts, which would have been originals for the, um, the SS model, not the, um, the base model. The base model would have had a, a 205 on a 14 inch rim. <clears throat> and then coming along here, oh, check that out, guys. Woo, that was really bright. Let me turn that like this. Damn, check that out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love my skulls, guys. I love them. So we'll come over here to the back side where we can see the back of this really nicely. I had to redo a lot of this back here. This piece is not original and you can't get new anymore. Of course, of course, you know, it's old. And of course, I love my skulls. And this is a true dual exhaust now. It wasn't before. This would have had a single exhaust. And you see underneath here, it's nice and clean. I have gotten rid of as much of the rust as I possibly could. Um, I've had to re-weld in pieces of frame member because uh, it was kind of rotted. So I had uh, I basically cut out anything that was rotted and replaced it with uh, nine gauge military steel. And then now it's got a 10 inch um, posi traction rear end with a Detroit locker. Yo! All new suspension bushings, suspensions themselves. So everything on here should ride like a dream. Uh, whenever I've driven this thing, oh man, you, you are definitely in for a ride. Uh, this thing is crazy fast uh, considering the amount of horsepower it has. It's lighter than a Corvette. 500 pounds lighter than a Camaro. So with 600 plus horsepower under the hood, guys, yo. But now let's kind of check out what the interior is, guys. Yo, check this out. We have, there we go. The wife did most of the interior on this. And yo, check that out. She stitched that in. Stitch all pleats in there. Chose the coloring on all of this. Yo ho! <clears throat> it is amazing stuff. Great work. The steering wheel, um, I'm suspecting, is out of a Camaro. A Camaro SS, no problem. I'll use it here. It's a nice, comfortable steering wheel. Um, this had a, originally a tan dash pad because the car was originally tan and we've painted it Ford Vermilion Red So we made sure that we carried the red theme through into the car um, And as you see there's Nova over there. No, the wife did a beautiful job on this guys um, I went through and painted the dash black because uh, again, it was like a brown dash So I had to change that over um, And then the back seats the wife also stitched uh, with me and my brother and her on a really bad sewing machine. We got the job done and looking oh so good. Woo! <clears throat> Painted the, the headliner because that was brown. Painted the uh, visors because that was brown. I mean this is like a really brown car. And if anybody knows Nova's very well, they would also notice that it's got a center console in here, guys. Yo, these things would have never have had a center console. These were the basic economy vehicles. So now that it's got a center console, I used this was uh, mocked out of a 04 Monte Carlo, which the uh, drive shaft tunnel uh, was uh, almost about the same size, and it fit beautifully between these seats. Check that out. So now you got a place to put stuff, put your elbow, put your drinks, all that good stuff. And then, of course, Ugh. We've got gauges in here for temperature, voltage off the battery, and oil pressure. Got to make sure you know those those uh, items. Those are very very valuable information. 
Then we've got a vintage looking radio, but it's all modern, all 100% modern. Um, so it comes from classic stereo sounds, and it even comes with a little audio jack so you can plug in your phone, uh, iPod, whatever, whatever it may be. And um, <clears throat> this was a non-AC car. So originally, to get fresh air in the vehicle, you would just pull this little lever here, it would open a valve around the corner, and let fresh air into the vehicle as you drove down the road. Hence the, the, uh, the, the whole thing of 240, 240 AC. You open up two vents and go 40 miles an hour. That was your AC. Yo. Oh, oh, and check this out, guys. This is how every car, I don't care if it's new or old, the one finger test, guys. So, you take the, any door, you put one finger on it, and you close it. It should close with one finger. You shouldn't have to bam with everything you got to blow out the windshield. If you do, your door is off alignment. And oh, check this out, guys. Objects in mirror are losing. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Check that out, guys. Woo! So, I guess the only thing that we can do from here, guys, is you know, just just fire this bad boy up and, and see how she sounds. See this sexual sound. Oh, this is what gives me my tingles and my podgies, guys. This right here. I, I, I this is my passion. Building motors. I love doing this. Building motors and racing. Oh, two things I love to do. So we'll do a little flick. This kind of sets the choke and all that good stuff. And I'm not even gonna get in here all the way. I'm just gonna reach in. of oil pressure oh that is just beautiful guys well I, I, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as me this is something that I love to do which is you know pretty much just building cars I don't really see myself doing uh, too much anything else other than you know building cars racing them um, and mining guys yo that's pretty much what I do that's how I spend my day other than if I'm not working on cars like this guys just like this, I'm working on bikes, guys. Check this out. So this here is a 1977 BMW RS one one uh, one uh, or the R100 RS. It's a 1000 cc cafe racer, unmolested, guys. All original motor, transmission. This thing is just amazing. Um, I just peeled back the covers just before coming in here. Otherwise, as you see, I got all the covers here. Keep the bikes all nice and covered. <clears throat> and then one of my project bikes. So this is a 83 um, VMAX V45 Magna. Uh, not a VMAX, a uh, V45 Magna. Ugh. Thinking snowmobiles. <laughs> um, and then, of course, the, the toy, you know. Here. I'll even show you this off a little bit too. Ugh. So bam, check this out. This is the scoop on my 1982 Z28 Camaro. Yo, big old scoop. Yo, that big nose on there. Oh, real Camaro, guys. Yo. <clears throat> Hood pins. I don't have a motor in there, so there's no point in really opening it up. I mean, well, I can. It's not a problem. Oop. Uh, let's see here if it wants to do this. 
Ah. And as you can see, there's no motor in here. It's got a transmission back there, but I've got to build me a motor. No problem. I'll build stuff. <laughs> Eventually I get around to building the motor. I'm trying to save up for it, you know. Dollar cost average into my 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 uh racing car. And yes, it is a big tire car, you guys. <laughs> Yo. Like uh, just to give you a reference, that's my foot. And that's the tire. You see how it's like relatively the same freaking size? That's 12 inches of tire, guys, hitting the tarmac. Woo! Got wheelie bars on there and everything, and ugh. Equipped with with a full row cage in here. Um, heavily, heavily modified, gutted out, and all that good stuff. Woo! So, this is pretty much the toy shop, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I certainly do. Um, if you guys like these videos, certainly smash that Lizzie like button, hit the subscribe button, share these videos with other people. That would so help me out, guys. Oh my God, that would be awesome. And drop any comments in there. I mean, if you're a Ford fan and stuff, and you like the fact that I've got a Ford Vermilion Red, which is the same red you find on the Mustangs, guys. So all you Mustang lovers, should love the fact that I got a Mustang color on here. I've got a center section of my rear end is from a Mustang, dude. Come on. So I pretty much pay homage to all the old cars. I don't care what kind of car it is. I just want to make one. I want to make it awesome. Um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. You know, make comments on there for sure. Uh, what is it that you liked about my, uh, my, my Nova here? Let me know one thing that you liked about the Nova. Yo, guys, that'd be awesome. Let me know. And uh, like always, I will definitely see you all on the next one. Yo.